Penelope and Bill, it's absolutely lovely to meet you both this morning. I've seen the first two episodes of Hemlock Grove, so I'm a little bit hooked already. Can't wait awesome. to see what happens great. next. Obviously, it's a great story. You know, it's, it's really thrilling. It's got supernatural as well. When the script like first landed in front of you guys, what were your first impressions? <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, we were just talking about this before. I think we were both at a point in time. We'd kind of both been in Los Angeles for pilot season. And for those of you who don't know what that is, it's basically just a cattle call of actors and scripts and everyone scavenging trying to get something made and it can be really overwhelming and then when I got sent this script it was the first thing I kind of I kind of yeah obviously cast it aside as a, you know another werewolf vampire thing um, <laughs> but then upon reading it I was so blown away and so moved by the characters um, it's really it's beautiful writing and it's also a really unique approach to a genre that is um, blooming so yeah it's it was pretty cool <laughs> yeah, no, I, I totally agree. Um, and it's something completely so fresh and, and new and in its genre. Like, I, and it's, it's so funny with people, like, if like, they, they will not know what to expect if they're like, oh, Helmut Grove, I guess it's a werewolf vampire show. No, it's not like anything you've seen before, <laughs> I'll tell you that. You know, it's like, it's, it's something completely different and new. And, and I think, like, you know, my character, Roman, is one of the most you know intense and great complex characters I've ever you know played he's so intense and it's been such a pleasure to be able to work on such a character that goes through so much throughout the mm -hmm. season and that 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 you know that's so troubled and disturbed and just like kind of battling himself so much it was really cool and obviously you guys play Roman and Letha who are <coughs> they're cousins but they're also kind of best friends you know they're they're they spend all their time together and they have an interesting relationship because he's quite intense and she's quite light oh, yeah. when you think at the start. Did you enjoy you know, kind of playing their relationship oh, out yeah. on screen? Yeah, for sure. It was very much a yin-yang relationship and I think it's almost something that we kind of developed as well. Like we're both so antagonistic. Uh -huh. <laughs> you know, this, we were, all of us were living so far away from home so we were in Toronto for the six months and it was like we were this band of despondent kind of orphans <laughs> just <laughs> kind of clung together. Yeah. But um, yeah, it was so beautiful because I think I mean that's so what the fun thing about being a teenager is you're fundamentally testing the boundaries and trying to work out who you are as an individual and so nice having this dynamic with Letha and Roman I think it's a really important part of the whole Hemlock Grove narrative it's just at the core yeah they're both extreme opposites but they're also very much the same and they're both very vulnerable and they're both trying to do the right thing mm. however that manifests yeah, <laughs> yeah it's just like you know yeah especially like Roman growing up with his mom who's <laughs> you know, this kind of a different woman, and you know, <laughs> their kind of relationship is just like this battle struggle mm. every time. And the other, the only one in his, in his life, you know, that his his mom and his sister that he, that he could actually just talk to is Letha, and she's just this like warm, giving, you know, young woman that he's just like. I think he feels really, you know, attached to that that someone that's just warm and giving and caring because mm. he doesn't have that much <laughs> in his life. Yeah. I think. It's like a substitute then, you know, for what he didn't have there already. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, I, think, he, I think he really gets addicted to that and, mm -hmm. you know, kind of just someone that's just like, hey, it's nice <laughs> to you. Of course, Letha isn't the only person we see him kind of teaming up with. He also strikes up this kind of detective partnership with Peter. You want to find out who yeah. really did it. A bit of like a uh, Sherlock and Watson vibe going on there. <laughs> <laughs> I <laughs> really <laughs> hope not. <laughs> <laughs> no, Watson, I what is this? <laughs> Um, um, no, yeah, but of course, yeah, they go kind of on this on their little mission and journey throughout throughout the show as well, and you know, trying to find this, uh, and it, I think it like I think it it makes for like because their their you know relationship the two characters like with Peter and Roman is just like is also kind of such an intense like mm. relationship, and that's kind of based out of supernatural things like they they just get each other. Uh, for the first time in their, li in their life, they're like, here's someone that actually knows or sees through my mask in a way. And Roman knows immediately that 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 Peter's a werewolf, and he's not shocked by it, you know, because it comes natural to him. Yeah. So it's not like that he that he knows that it, there's werewolves. He's just like, oh, this makes sense. So so for the in their relationship, it's just like kind of, you know, just these two really lonely guys that for the first time in their life understand each other mm -hmm. where someone else understands them yeah um, so it's, it was great working with Landon as well but I, I don't know if it's a <laughs> Sherlock Holmes moment we're both Sherlock it's okay yeah. we both, <laughs> right. 
Well, listen, guys, that's absolutely great. I mean, back home in Ireland, we're really looking forward to seeing you guys on screen together awesome. and seeing Hemlock Grove. So we can't wait for the launch oh. on, on April 19th. Thanks. Thank Great. you so much. Thank you. <laughs>